that's what Story News Nation has been following closely from the very beginning. Today, the first hearing in the lawsuit filed by Gabby Petito's family against Brian Laundrie's parents. The Laundries are accused of knowing their son murdered Petito, but choosing not to act. News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton joining us live now. And Brian, you had many exclusive looks into this case, even broke the news when Laundrie's body was found in Florida. Where do these allegations and the case go now? Yeah, this could really get interesting, Nicole. If this lawsuit moves forward, and that's a big if, it could open the door to us learning a lot more about what Brian Laundrie's parents knew and when they knew it. Gabby Petito's parents inside a Venice, Florida courtroom. Gabby's mom clutched a necklace that had Gabby's ashes inside as their attorney argued that Brian Laundrie's parents caused them emotional distress by not disclosing where their daughter's body was. They knew starting on August 28th of 2021 that Gabby was dead. They knew where Gabby's body was. They knew that the Petito family was desperately searching for information. But they did things affirmatively. They didn't just remain silent. The Petitos alleged that the Laundries misled them by putting out a statement that said, we hope the search is successful, despite knowing their son already killed Gabby. But Brian Laundrie's parents' attorney says they had the right to remain silent and were following their lawyer's advice not to talk. What are we going to require of people in a situation like this? Are we going to require them to say everything that they know? Or are they going to be allowed to speak freely or not speak at all. That's that's really the question before your honor. The judge says he'll make a decision about whether the civil lawsuit can move forward in the next two weeks. With no criminal charges ever filed, the Petitos say the civil case could be their last chance at getting justice for their daughter. They're, they're handling it as best they can. Uh, if you saw, uh, there were some tears earlier today when we came in, <clears throat> in here, and I expect there will likely be some more tears. And up until this point, uh, the Petitos have not provided any evidence on how exactly they know that the Laundries knew that Gabby Petito was dead. But again, the interesting thing will be if this case moves forward, the Laundries could be required to testify uh, and say exactly what they knew and when. Nicole? Yes, so many eyes still on this case. Okay, Brian, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.